We've known for the longest time that Namor the Submariner would be the villain, or at least an antagonist, in Black Panther 2 Wakanda Forever. We know that Tina Huerta is going to be playing the character, Atlantis is going to be involved here, Tuma, all that stuff. It's some really cool things going on here, but we haven't had an actual look at what Tina Huerta looks like as Namor the Submariner until now because some official promo art has now leaked online this is of course the promo art that is uh, sent out to toy companies and stuff to make merchandise for this film and now this gives us our first official look at him as namor in the mcu and this is actually a hd version of a leaked fuzzy version we saw uh, like a month or two ago so this is a great look at namor and he honestly looks so awesome and I'm surprised how comics accurate it is because I figured, you know, they wouldn't go with the Speedo look, but nah, he, he's doing it and he, he's rocking it, I guess. Uh, also, all the muscles, the abs and all that stuff. Um, so, like I said, this is Tina Huerta. I'm not the biggest fan of, like, the earrings and the nose ring and stuff, but I guess it is probably, like, part of the culture. We know it's a um, a new take on Atlantis, kind of like a version based on the Mayans, so that's pretty cool. I like the little uh, necklace thing, all the little, like, armbands and the, the nice belt around a Speedo because, you know, you can't just have a plain Speedo. You got to have it a little decorated and stuff. Um, you get that nice Namor logo and everything, and he just looks really, really cool. I'm... I'm excited for this. I'm excited to see Namor finally join the MCU, especially what his role is going to be post Black Panther 2, because, you know, he is going to be kind of a villain in this movie, but in the comics, he is mostly known as a hero. He's had a lot of history with the Fantastic Four, which we know is also coming to the MCU, and he's also been a member of the Illuminati, also the Cabal, so there's a lot of possibilities for him in the future, maybe even get his own movie or his own Disney Plus series, but speaking of Namor and Atlantis, this morning we also got a great look at Namor arch enemy Atuma, so he's going to be another Atlantean in this film, and most likely the actual big bad villain of Black Panther or two but he looks great here um here's the nice comparison between him and his design in the comics so he looks amazing and again i'm just really excited to see namor atuma and all the atlanteans in black panther 2 wakanda forever but guys let me know your thoughts on this in the comments below what do you think about this first look at namor the submariner so guys thanks for watching please drop a like if you enjoyed this video and hit the subscribe button so i can keep it to date on everything goes on in the marvel life